San Picafor, so beautiful in the morning. Look at that, the mist on the ocean. Good morning. Right, so we're here. We've arrived almost half past seven. The guy's going to turn up between eight and nine. We need to get, look at this little beautiful tiny little beach in the, in the marina. We're in Camp Pickafo. We need to get, the last mission of the morning is to get the wind turbine off, which is welded to the guardrail at the back. Not ideal. So yeah, that's the mission now. And then hopefully you come out the water in about an hour or two.
Spread is just not big. So right, <clears throat> right behind us, you can see that they've got the crane rigged. They just took the weight off the mast, and now they've got the four remaining stays forward and aft, and the two side stays that they're going to take off now. And then they should be able to loosen the bolts at the bottom of the mast, and then just lift it straight up. And as you can see, the boat is on a trailer. And the boat must weigh like 12 ton. But apparently he's had, the guy said he's had 36 ton boat on there. So it was designed by a guy from Manacor. The guy's dead now, so he doesn't make them anymore. But yeah, so it's all quite interesting. And then they're gonna take it on the, take it with a little tractor, I think, um, to the yard, which is just inland a little bit. Can, Still in Camp Pickerfall, but on the other side, like in the, in the industrial side. Um, yeah, Camp Pickerfall is really nice. I really like it actually. It's quite a chill, nice little town in the in the north. But yeah, there's going to be uh, some bad weather coming in. You can just start to feel it now. The wind's starting to pick up, and apparently the the, the outer wall's really sh really small, and the swell's like three and a half meter apparently. So you wouldn't want to be here in that. Way, that's for sure. You see? Hello. Well, we are still in the yard. Yesterday, well, basically what happens is 
secure, you need to get a police escort from the marina when we're taking the boat out. So the, the local police, they give you like a, yeah, like an escort. And what's happened is basically there's been an emergency. And I mean, in Spain, like you have the local police, you have the police nacional, and then you have the Guardia Civil. Like the local police are basically, they're nothing like. You know, they, they're the kind of people that, you know, they get like cats out of trees or whatever, so who knows what they're doing, what emergency they're up to. But anyway, we're waiting. So we came, came down here about nine o'clock. We found out that it was going to be half past 10 and then we're here at half past 10 and now it's, it's already about half past 11. And we just wait for the police to come. Um, the boat's already on the trailer, as you can see, probably behind me. I just got my finger out the way. It's on the trailer, like it was yesterday. Um, it's secured to the tractor. The tractor's gonna take it inland. Obviously, it's gonna go super slow with a police escort. And um, yeah, and that's it. Like, um, I thought the bad weather was gonna come in, but it hasn't come in. It was actually, it rained where we were in Campanet last night, really quite heavy. Um, I could hear it, woke me up. Um, and then it's well, got up this morning and it's actually been super fine. Blue skies and beautiful and nice and fresh. And um, just washed all the heat away and start again. Mallorca style. So, yeah. Grumpy. Hello. What's happening? Not impressed, are we? Shortcut. <laughs> yeah, maybe. We're on our way. The police saved the cat out of the tree, and now we're moving. So we're just following it. We haven't got far to go, so. in the back being cameraman keeping one eye on Brian he's in a bit of a grump you have a local police that showed up